Today on Lone Star Grills, we're smoking up some tender, succulent pulled pork. We'll show you how to maximize flavor and get the most out of your cook. Let's go. We'll kick today's recipe off by making a homemade barbecue rub, which is two tablespoons each of pink salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. Just give all that a good mix to combine everything and then set it aside. We're using about a seven pound pork butt for today's cook. The secret to amazing pulled pork is in the bark. It's where so much of that wonderful flavor and texture come from. And to get the best finishing results possible, we need to properly trim this pork. To do this, we need to carefully remove as much fat from the outside of the pork as possible. Your rub or seasoning will not stick to fat throughout the cook. So in order to make the best bark possible, we're going to expose as much of this meat as we possibly can. This will give us the most possible surface area for our rub to stick to. For the fat side, most pit masters traditionally make cross hatch marks. This is to keep the pork from buckling during the cook as that fat renders. But we are going to remove this fat cap entirely. This is going to give us all that much more surface area for that awesome bark. This is a little trick you can use to elevate your pulled pork game. And don't worry, there's still plenty of fat inside this pork to keep it nice and juicy throughout the cook. Now just season the outside generously with our homemade barbecue rub. Be sure to cover it completely to take full advantage of all that extra surface area. Now we can let this hang out on the counter while we head outside and fire up the Lone Star Pellet Smoker. We'll be doing today's cook at a temperature of 250 degrees Fahrenheit. This cook can take about 90 minutes per pound but there are variables, so make sure you start early. Once your cooker is fully preheated, get your pork on, close the lid, and begin cooking. The perfect pairing for this recipe is a Carolina vinegar sauce. It starts with one half cup of distilled white vinegar, one half cup apple cider vinegar, one quarter cup ketchup, two tablespoons light brown sugar, three quarter teaspoon pink sea salt, one teaspoon crushed red pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper, and you can optionally add a few drops of your favorite hot sauce. Now just give it a stir and get it on your stove to simmer for about 20 minutes. Then put it away until serving. You can make this the same day or you can make it the day before for even better flavor. Several hours later, our pork has reached an internal temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit. But more importantly than that, the bark is set. When you touch it, it doesn't move. It's critically important that you allow the bark to properly set before you wrap. Now that ours is set, we're just going to get this into a foil pan, no liquid necessary, cover it with foil, and get it back on the cooker. Now just sit back, relax, and allow this to cook until it becomes probe tender. Then you can remove it from the cooker and allow it to rest for a minimum of one hour. And just take a look at these results. Beautiful bark on the outside, but tender and juicy on the inside. Now once you're done pulling this apart, you can serve it up on a sandwich and don't forget that Carolina vinegar sauce and a little country style slaw to finish it off. And this pork will make some great tacos too. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like information on any of our products, give us a call or check out our links below. We'll see you on the next one.